Hi, I'm Jules, if you don't know me, with Studio Jules Art. And I'm sorry about the glare on my glasses. It comes from my overhead uh, light fixture and my ceiling from where my ceiling fan is. And I'll be turning it on directly because this is Texas. And it's supposed to be, let's see, 108 or 105 today. Yeah, and it's windy outside. I can hear the wind blowing outside my window. Anyway, um, first step in the modern medallion quilt is to make four corners of two and a half by two and a half blocks. And they go in four wide, four down. And you have to make eight of them. Well, anybody that knows me, anybody that knows about my classes or what I like to teach. I like to teach paper piecing. So what did I do? I got on my EQ8 and made up a grid. Now I'm not going to use it like this. I'm going to cut it up so I have the strips, but I want precision in my blocks. So here we go. Uh, I decided to do it this way because sometimes when you're piecing small blocks together, they have a tendency to get off, get wavy a little bit. So I just want precision on this quilt. So that's why I am doing it this way. So I'm gonna cut these up and then we're gonna get started. And as I'm cutting these up, I want to show you, um, let's go, let me see if I can get them this way. Here we go. I'm using a rotary cutter to cut these up, but see, I have it labeled paper only on both sides. In case I have friends over here to sew, I want them to know that this is paper only and not to use it on their fabric. So I'm just cutting these up and I'm cutting them individually because when they print it off, I don't know if they printed identical to the margins and I just don't want to be off on cutting these. So I'm just going to make a pile of these over here. And uh, my fingers are sticking. And just pile those up. Here we go. I don't know why I did it right there. So when y'all are sewing, in your own sewing rooms, do you like to listen to music, books, turn on something on Netflix or Prime that you can binge? Yes, I've done the Bridgertons and, oh, what else? All those great series. And I love historical fiction. So I'm right now, I've been listening to a book by Jennifer Cheverini, and I've probably pronounced her last name incorrectly, but I've done her quilt series and I love the quilt series. This one is called The President Seamstress or some Dressmaker, The President, uh, the President's Wife's Dressmaker. Mrs. Lincoln's Dressmaker. That's what it is. I love it. And I love hearing all the, the history that Jennifer puts into the quilt, I mean, into the book, by recounting how the troops marched during the Civil War and about how the the blacks suffered and that some of their sons that were biracial were able to enroll as white because of their skin color, because there were so many female slaves that were molested by, or raped by their plantation owners or their sons. So, you know, I enjoy listening to that type of history. I don't know why, but I really like listening to historical fiction around the civil, civil era, 
Civil, Civil War era. Don't know why my tongue got twisted on that. And I'm sorry about my sniffles. As I told you, the wind is blowing. It's summer in the South Plains of Texas and we get more dirt storms than we do rainstorms. So it's not that I'm allergic to the dirt, it's what the dirt, just the dirt stirring up and farmers have planted. Now when the farmers start harvesting, that is when I try to stay inside and not go out because that really triggers my allergies. But I have to tell you, my allergies are much better living out here in the South Plains than they were when I lived in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Why, you ask? Because out here, we don't have trees and grass. And those are my major allergies. I'm allergic to every single tree except the cottonwood. Imagine. Okay, I am gonna start with my first piece. And you can see my paper piecing, let me get it in the right place, where I have my lines. And I know that I need a quarter inch on each side of the lines, because uh, that's gonna be my seam line. But I am going to place my fabric on the back side. So the first piece goes right side up. And then the second piece will go right on top of it because you always want right sides together. Let me use a different fat piece so you can see right sides together. So right sides together. And this is scrappy, guys. So I'm just gonna be pulling from my bed. Now, I am going to pin this being the first block, I'm gonna pin on this side and then I'm gonna come back and pin on the other side and take this pin out. And that's not in the right place anyway. I want, yeah it is. There we go. I want the pin in there to hold my fabric since this is the first seam okay so also with paper piecing you want to shorten your stitch length and i am shortening mine to hmm, what is that i'm gonna go 1.75 just because i want a tight stitch and i won't have to do backwards and forwards on the paper and it'll make it much easier when I tear the paper out at the very end. Okay, so I've got my stitch length at 1.75 and that's for my machine. It's normally set right below two and a half so I'm good with this. And if you're wondering what thread I'm using since I'm doing so many different colors of fabric, I am using Mettler, which is my favorite brand. 50 weight, color 0322. It's this really pretty medium gray. And I chose it because I've got a wide variety of light and dark fabrics. And I just feel that gray blends in very well. Now, my fabric store only had one 500 yard spool and several little spools. I think these are 250. Um, so I bought two of the small ones so I could run my bobbins. And before I started, I ran about four bobbins to get me started. Okay. Just wanted to pass that along. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna start down on the beginning. Well, no, I learned in one of my groups that paper pieces, 
if you start a few stitches back, then you don't have to worry about going front and back because your other seams take care of it. Okay. Now I am going to string piece these, but I'm taking, just doing this one to show you my process. And then I am going to whiz through these. So see, see how nice and straight that is. And I'm just going to finger press these for right now because they're, they're short seams. They're short. So see how nice that looks on the back side, which will get ripped out. And then this is the front. And I know we're not getting very good light, but that's just the way it is in my studio. Okay. All right. I am going to whiz through these and I will be back with you when I am done with these to show you how I put the columns together. Okay. See you in a few. Okay, I have sewn all I can sew today. Um, I have some seam ripping I want to do because my seams aren't as perfect as I would like them. So I am going to get those done and go rest my back. I'm having back problems, so I can only sit at the sewing machine a limited amount of hours every day. So I will get with you later next time I'm ready to sew. Later.